the things that drives me is the belief that we shouldn't pass this fight along to our grandchildren. Uh, I want one day for them to look back upon our generation and be really proud of what we did in defeating radical Islam and creating a future for them where they're living in peace, Muslims and non-Muslims, people of all faiths together, where they're talking about radical Islam and all this terrorism and human rights abuses and some tolerance as a thing of the past. And they'll look back and say it was this generation that did it for them. First on the Kelly File tonight, Ryan Morrow is a national security analyst. Clarion Project national security analyst, Ryan Morrow is on the line. When you look at Belgium, that's the future of the U.S. if these trends continue. Yes, we get a lot of email from Muslims in the United States and around the world that are concerned about this. He is the national security expert with the Clarion Project. Ryan Morrow joins us from the Clarion Project. According to the Justice Department, this is an entity of the U.S. Muslim Brotherhood. If you want to secure the homeland, you have to start pushing ISIS back overseas. If I was a nuke-seeking, Terror sponsoring Mullah in Tehran, I'd be cheering at this deal. We are falling for their strategy. You're probably familiar with the work that the Clarion Project is doing in film, on the website, and in the media. But you're probably not aware of everything that we're doing behind the scenes. Training law enforcement, providing intelligence on terrorist threats to government agencies across the country, and advising policymakers and counterterrorism personnel. We're even utilizing our own covert sources in the hidden world of radical Islam. Far too often, authorities are often unaware of extremist groups operating right under their noses. And so, with your support, we are launching Clarion Intelligence Network. We're crowdfunding to raise $50,000, half of which will come from matching donors. Donate now to help secure America and win the war against radical Islam.